Are you kind of sick of 3D printers, CNC routers, and laser cutters? Well today I have a special treat for you. We're going to do a project that doesn't even require electricity. I'm going to show you how to repair and upgrade cheap furniture like the kind you would get at like a Walmart or Target or at home store or something like that using only hand tools. We got these stools a while back. I liked the way they looked. I didn't want us to spend the time to make something of my own that would look this good. They fit perfectly with this breakfast nook where we have them. But after a very short amount of time, the seats started to cave in. I took one apart already and replaced it. And this is what we're gonna do. Look at this. This is using old signs to replace the inside of the seat where it caved in. Now the second one is caved in. It looks like the cat actually prefers it this way. And it's time to do the upgrade to this second stool. We're going to start by ripping out this bottom fabric. This will reveal what the real problem is. After that, we're going to have to take everything apart. In this case, the stool doesn't need to be fully disassembled because it's still super sturdy. But if your stool is like wobbly and creaky, you could actually unscrew the legs, put some wood glue in there, screw them back together, and then just pile heavy stuff on top of it instead of using clamps to get it back together nice and tight. Now that I have the fabric off, we can see the padding. And if we look under here, we can see the padding actually is held in place with a little bit of string. This keeps everything from sliding around whenever you sit on the stool. I'm gonna work this string loose and pull the padding off. And this reveals the piece that we are going to replace. This fiberboard is dirt cheap. That's why they use it. And it tends to last for a while, but not real long, especially with my heavy butt sitting on it. I'm gonna replace this with some decorative metal that I found at Lowe's. You could use scrap metal as well, like I did for the other stool. Here I'm just using some tin snips or airline shears or whatever you want to call them to cut the metal to the right size. I'll feed my padding back through the holes and then slide the cover back in place, pull it tight and staple it. And voila, you've taken this cheap furniture that would probably go to a landfill and you've given it quite an extension on its life. So there you go. This project is super simple. You could do this in uh, less than an hour. You could do it on your lunch break. This could be your very first project. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you probably noticed, the cats have scratched up that stool a bit and it may end up out in my shop or I may even reupholster it with different material if I still like it after a few months. So there you go. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more cool projects.